My first real project wasn't perfect, but it taught me everything. A custom dog bowl for Tula and Charlie, a rolling cart, and a whole new workflow for taking a picture or an image I designed with AI and turning it into real metal. I first saw posts like this one, a laser cut dog bowl project, and thought, that's what I want to learn how to make. What a great first project. I started tinkering with the software, laying out designs, but life got in the way and I had to shelve it for a couple days. Then I went through the handheld laser institute two day class, came home and finally decided to stop overthinking and just go for it. I started this project with two photos, one of each dog, Charlie and Tula. I dropped them into Adam and played around with photo the line art and photo the silhouette to see which looked best. I liked photo the line art better. I tried pulling the results into Vetric, but I kept getting stuck trying to figure out what areas would stay solid and what would actually get cut out with more complex images. Since I've been learning Inkscape for DTF t-shirt printing and graphics, I decided to switch gears and finish the design from there. So I exported from Atom into Inkscape, cleaned up the vectors, and started piecing together the final layout. I'm still figuring out node editing and how everything interacts once it moves into Excel Creative Space and now Studio, but it's getting easier with every file. Once the design was ready, it was finally time for the cut. I loaded the file into XCS, set up my first sheet of 16 gauge carbon steel, and hit go. Watching the laser trace those outlines for the first time was one of those moments that makes you forget all the hours spent learning software something I can watch for hours. Even with messed up scaling and a few rough edges, it was progress. I was finally turning a digital idea into something real, straight from photo to metal. Once the pieces were cut, I laid everything out to see how they fit. The nameplate, sides, and backplate lined up pretty well, but the top plate ended up a little too wide. Later, I realized that turning the transfer from Inkscape to XCS the top panel had resized slightly. I should have double checked the scale before cutting. Another mistake was not placing the files fully inside the cuttable area in XCS. I finally figured out how to turn off the image capture and display the white background with the grid. That's when I understood why the dogs ended up with flat tops. Even with all that, I went ahead and welded everything together for practice. The squirrel sides were tricky with only a small contact point at the nose, but they held. I also noticed a lot of dross on the cut edges and realized I hadn't recalibrated the laser after doing a quick autogenous weld and test cut a few days earlier. That slight focus shift made a big difference in cut quality. For welding, I was running one millimeter wire and switched to professional mode to access the seam and tack welding settings. I adjusted the parameters using Xtool's recommended ranges and what I learned at the Handheld Laser Institute. Once everything was dialed in, each tack came out cleaner and it finally started to feel like the machine and I were in sync. All of it drove home one big lesson. Calibration, scaling, and setup details make or break the results. I'll cover some rules of thumb and parameter charts in an upcoming video. After finishing the dog bowl project, I realized I needed a better setup for the air dryer, compressor, and a dedicated O2 bottle for the CNC. So instead of waiting, I just started building a cart. No drawings, no CAD, just a mental picture and a tape measure. I laid out the equipment, measured clearances, and began cutting one and a quarter inch 16 gauge tubing for the frame. A few mistakes showed up right away. I missed cut a couple pieces drilled one hole off center, and had to trim extra sheet metal for shelves, but it was worth it. Building the cart forced me to change welding tips, recalibrate again, and think through airflow, wiring, and access before the next project. That's when it clicked. This wasn't just a cart build. It was part of dialing in my whole workflow. 
Every cut and weld made the shop a little more functional and a little more efficient. Looking back, the cart build taught me just as much as the project that came before it. I learned that a simple layout on paper can look perfect, but until you start cutting and placing parts, you don't really know what works. Building it on the fly forced me to think about weight balance, cable reach, and airflow. I also found out how much setup matters. I had to re recalibrate for new material, thickness, swap welding tips, and check grounding after moving equipment. It all added up to a smoother workflow. Now everything's mobile, connected, and ready for the next step building the fume extractor system to keep the air clean and optics protected. That's where all these lessons start paying off. Until next time, from Warthog to Workshop, building with AI lasers and grip.